Being an artist requires you to tap into dark places to create beauty. And you have to put your heart on the line to be true to the art. There's a feeling you get in your stomach when you're struggling. There are two ways of getting that energy out of your system. There's a negative release through drugs, self-harm or suicide. Or a positive release through art. My name is Rich Simmons. I was born in Peterborough and had a very normal childhood growing up in the countryside in Lincolnshire. My granddad was kind of the artist of the family. Any time that we did get to spend with him, I would want a drawing from him. So he would always say from a very young age, I'll do you a trade. So I would sit in the corner of, of the house with a little sketchbook with pens and crayons and felt tips and I would come up with my little five-year-old masterpiece of something, and at the end of the day, I would present it to him, and he would do a very quick drawing and we would trade. And that, from a very young age, planted a seed in my mind that if I wanted something in life, if I wanted to achieve something, or if I wanted to attain something, I could use my creativity to find a way to get it. Art was always my thing. That's just who I was. I could just draw and I could paint and I could mix colors better than other students in my class. I'm a very, very visual person. So being in a school system and being told to read textbooks and write essays, I struggled a lot more hitting my teenage years than ever before. And that became frustrating knowing that you're an intelligent person, but at the same time you start failing subjects because you haven't taken the information in, in the right way. I never did well in college, I failed art, I failed graphic design, I failed communication studies because I wasn't learning in the right environment and in the right way. I wasn't communicating verbally and I was locking myself away and I wasn't processing everything that was going on with my family splitting up and the issues at home and my dad became worried about me. And he asked me to go and see a couple of therapists so I could kind of try and open up to someone. And they said, I've got all the hallmarks of, of having Asperger's by not being able to socialize in the same way other people were, being very anxious around people, being very difficult to understand social interaction and social norms and communication. That was my weakness. As much as I didn't want the label of I have depression, I have autism, I have social anxiety. It was almost like I am me. I am rich, this is how I think, this is how I view the world, this is how I can take my brain and do something positive in the world with it. I started to take all of those frustrations and inability to communicate verbally, and I was communicating it through visual means, through painting. And the artwork was very dark. It was almost like taking the demons and trapping them into a canvas, but they were no longer inside me. I was able to use a paintbrush or a spray paint can or a pencil or whatever it may have been to channel that frustration out and trap it on paper, trap it on canvas. And it wasn't until I was maybe 20, 21, and I was talking to my aunt at the time and I was explaining what I was going through because she was concerned about me as well. I tried to explain to her that I was struggling with different things, but I was okay because I had my artwork. And she said, you, you're doing art therapy. Without even realizing it, I was using this positive release. I was taking that and doing something artistic with it. And that, that saved my life. And I realized that this balance of dark and light and pain and beauty was this ability to turn something negative into a positive. Taking a caterpillar and pupating it and a butterfly flying out of it, free to, to fly off into the world and inspire other people with its color and its beauty. 
but remembering that it started life with this, as this caterpillar on a leaf is the same thing with what I'm doing with my art, where I'm taking something like depression that is festering inside of me and channeling it through art and then putting my artwork out into the public and setting it free into the world for other people to see the beauty that I've tried to create from that painful emotional experience. It was like a weight had lifted off my shoulders and I realized now was the right time to do something. So I spent all evening in my room listening to music, just writing things on paper, just scribbling down lyrics or poetry or words, just anything, just channeling it out of my system, trying to find the answer to what it was. And I wrote down the words, art is the cure. And something sparked in me, and I realized those four little words were what I was supposed to be doing. I think with art therapy, a lot of people get stuck on the idea of art being just painting or drawing. And if someone doesn't know how to do those things, they don't think art therapy can help them. But what I want people to realize is that art comes in so many different forms. It's just being creative. And that therapy aspect of it doesn't just relate to depression. It can relate to anxiety, eating disorders, autism, anything that someone's going through, whatever it may be, in whatever realm it is, creativity can be a release for that. It's how you get out of your system through being creative. That's what art therapy is. So I created a MySpace page that night and I wrote my story and I told whoever wanted to listen, this is who I am, this is what I was going through, this is how I dealt with it. And if I can do it, maybe you can do it. Get in touch, let's be friends, let's communicate. Maybe I can inspire you in some way to do the same thing that I did. And then people started to resonate with it. And people started to message me saying, I do the same thing. I never realized that was a form of art therapy. Or my friend is going through depression, or my friend is going through an eating disorder or anxiety. They're really creative, but they're not using their creativity. I'm gonna tell them about this. And there was one, one story that really kind of sparked it for me that I knew this is something that can change the world potentially. And it was, it was a girl in America and she messaged me saying, what's your art about? I read your story, can you tell me a bit more about it? So we chatted online and I told her a bit about what I was going through in a bit more detail. She didn't really give me any information about herself which is fine. But then I didn't hear from her for a few days. And I thought, okay, well, maybe I've helped her, maybe I haven't, who knows. And about three days later, I get a long message and she finally opened up and she told me that she was going through different things and she tried committing suicide multiple times over the last couple of years. And she was getting to a point where she was losing hope again and she wanted to commit suicide again. So she reached out to me randomly, and hearing what I was saying about creativity, she decided that she would try it as well. So she went away and she got all of the art supplies she could together and she locked herself in her bedroom. And she spent the next three days drawing and painting and writing and just getting out of her system. And she told me at the end of the email that she didn't think about self-harming for the first time in ages because she was so engrossed in making art. She had a release and she had a channel to express herself. It was the feeling that it gave her. She felt a weight had lifted off her, off her chest, off her back. She found hope for the first time in a long time by doing that. And at the end of the email, she thanked me for saving her life. And I realized if I could do that for one person, what would happen if more people read the story? What would happen if more people heard about art therapy? And that, that gave me the motivation to really push something into art as the cure and to create this movement. As much as I want to be an artist and as much as I love being able to exhibit my artwork, being someone that can inspire other people, whether it's through my artwork or through my story or through sharing other people's stories, that's the thing that's going to be my legacy in the future. I want to be the person that inspired other people to overcome things, inspired other people to change their lives and find a release through art and find a cure.